A nasogastric feeding tube is a special tube inserted through the nose for delivering oral nutrition supplements and medication into the stomach. You are required to feed the patient based on the feeding schedule. Please take note of the time, type of oral nutrition supplement and amount needed. We will cover the following in the next few minutes. You will need to prepare the following. Oral nutrition supplement as prescribed, 50 ml syringe, a jug of water, pH strips and a small bowl, small cups, measuring tape, medication if any, and the feeding schedule. The feeding schedule will be given to you upon discharge. Step 1. Wash your hands with soap and water. Step 2. Prop the patient up to at least 30 degrees. Step 3. Ask the patient to open his mouth and check the back of the throat. This is to make sure that the tube is not coiled. Ensure the recommended external length of the feeding tube is measured and consistent during each feed. The feeding tube should be secured firmly to the nose and cheek with a tape. To check if the feeding tube is in the stomach, withdraw some gastric content with the syringe. If you're unable to obtain gastric content, lie the patient on their left side. Inject 10 to 20 ml of air into the tube and make another attempt to withdraw gastric content. If you're still unable to obtain gastric content, please wait for 15 to 30 minutes and try again. Read gastric content pH level. If the pH level is below or equal to 5, he is ready to be fed. Please note that pH levels can be affected by certain medication such as proton pump inhibitors, H2 antagonists or antacids. If the patient is on other medication, please check with your doctor or pharmacist as they might also influence the pH results. Step 4. Feeding of Oral Nutrition Supplement Check the feeding schedule. Prepare the correct amount and oral nutrition supplement prescribed. Prevent air entry into the stomach by kinking the feeding tube before connecting the syringe. Flush the tube with 20 ml of water or as per prescribed. Feed according to the feeding schedule. Position syringe slightly above the head. Ensure the syringe is not empty during feeding. This is to minimize stomach discomfort due to excessive air entry. Complete the feeding by flushing 20 ml of water or as per prescribed and close the feeding port with a stopper. Step 5. Feeding medication. Ensure right medication is being prepared. Crush the medication finely or dissolve the pills in lukewarm water. Connect the syringe without the plunger to the kinked feeding tube. Before feeding the medication, flush the feeding tube with 20 ml of water or as per prescribed. Pour medication into the syringe. After administering the medication, remember to flush the feeding tube with 20 ml of water or as per prescribed. The patient should remain seated for at least one hour to prevent gastric reflux. Do not mix medication with oral nutrition supplement. Administer feeds prescribed by your healthcare professional. Consult your nutrition nurse specialist on other options that do not cause tube blockage. Fill the syringe with water. With the plunger, apply pressure to flush and unblock the tube. Let's have a quick recap of what we have gone through.
If your loved one experiences any of these symptoms, do seek treatment immediately. If the feeding tube is accidentally removed, contact your healthcare provider during office hours.